Hi, I'm Dr. Sheldon Horowitz here at the National Center for Learning Disabilities. Welcome to the next in our Ask the Expert series. Today what I'd like to do is talk about Asperger's syndrome. Asperger's syndrome is not a learning disability and it has features of autism spectrum disorder, nonverbal learning disabilities, and ADHD. So let's talk about Asperger's syndrome in the context of the domains within which some of those characteristics occur. Let's begin with social interaction and then move to language and then move to other. In the social interaction domain, individuals with Asperger's syndrome tend to have limited and sometimes inappropriate kinds of behaviors in the social interaction domain. They have difficulties with nonverbal communication. So for example, they have a hard time reading gestures or facial expressions and sometimes their gestures and facial expressions don't communicate what it is that they're thinking and feeling. They often have difficulties understanding emotional cues, so they miss cue when listening to someone or watching somebody. They may then say something inappropriate or they may repeat something that isn't appropriate to the situation because they're misreading the social aspect of the situation or the emotional aspect of the situation. Individuals with Asperger's are often seen to have um, low eye contact, either not making good eye contact or sustaining good eye contact. And in this social interaction domain, those with Asperger's tend also to be at risk for not having many friends. They tend to be socially isolated. In the language area, those with Asperger's often are extremely verbal, highly verbal, and their language can be very sophisticated at times. What they do when they're talking is that they tend to discuss themselves and their interests and not focus on the interests of others. It can be a one-sided conversation and some of that reciprocity, the flow, the reciprocal flow between one person and another can be awkward. Um, they tend to be literal in the ways that they understand language. So for example, if I was with somebody with Asperger's syndrome and I was to say, get out of here, they might physically they may, mean, they may think that it means that I want them to get up and physically move away, as opposed to, get out of here, that's just so terrific, I can't believe that that just happened. So there's this literal component to the way they understand language, and that tends to be very difficult for many individuals with Asperger's. The ways that they use their voice, both the tone of their voice, the pitch of their voice when they're speaking, and the way that they modulate the volume of their voice can be problematic. But as mentioned before, those with Asperger's tend to be very sophisticated in terms of the language that they use, the vocabulary and language. When we think about Asperger's syndrome, I listed other, but can almost think of them as quirks, quirky kinds of behaviors. Um, in the same way that individuals on the autism spectrum disorder are fascinated and focused on pieces or things, in an expanded kind of a way, those with Asperger's tend to focus on, or many have particular interests in unusual objects or topics. So they may memorize the, the map of a subway system, or they may be fascinated by the specifics of what constitutes the decorative ironwork on bridges. Um, they focus on those kinds of peculiarities and they run with them and they become quite expert at them. They exhibit often awkward body language, their posture and their movement. They don't often know what they do with their hands. They stand in a funny kind of a way. They may posture difficulties. They may have posture difficulties or present differently in social situations that are awkward. Um, individuals with Asperger's are also at times bothered by noise or by lights or by certain textures or intense kinds of tastes. Um, they tend to have difficulties often in areas of motor coordination. So sports can be an area of difficulty. Many individuals with autism do really well in individual sports and not so well in team sports. 
and they tend sometimes to have difficulties not just with the coordination or the rules or the following of the um, interactive nature of sports, but also with balance and muscle control. Um, individuals with Asperger's syndrome will struggle often with routines or changes in routines. They have difficulties in transition periods, moving from one activity to another, and um, they are known often to have difficulties with the physical act of writing, the handwriting process, the motor control needed to do written expression. Those with Asperger's syndrome are almost always of at least average intelligence, and they can certainly demonstrate uh, characteristics of giftedness. Um, as I mentioned earlier, Asperger's often manifests itself in features of attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Um, anxiety becomes an issue at certain points with individuals with Asperger's, as does depression, and that needs to be looked at carefully and monitored carefully. They may have some savant-like qualities, as might those in the autism spectrum disorder um, category. And as mentioned earlier, they may also be referred to at times as high-functioning autistics. For more information about Asperger's syndrome and for information about learning disabilities and other disorders of attention and learning, please visit the LD.org website.